Well, clearly Idaho Republicans are going to have reason to celebrate tonight. Yeah, that's let's fair to say. head out to Six on Your Side's Warwick Barris, who is live at the Republican watch party, standing by. I think we're looking for Senator Mike Crapo with you, possibly, Roland. Yes, that's right. Senator Mike Crapo is joining us, and you talk about uh, celebration for Republicans. Boy, they're celebrating, aren't they, right now? No, there is a phenomenal mood in the room right now, and as I mentioned to you earlier, uh, I'm one of those guys who waits till all the votes are counted before I really am sure. Uh, but this really looks good right now. But, but let's, let me ask you this, Senator. Uh, if it turns out the way it's looking right now, what's first on your agenda um, to change things in this country? Well, you know, there's a very big list. And frankly, I think we should take the big items first. Uh, and that, what I'm talking about there is a balanced budget amendment. We need to replace Obamacare. We need to pull back the ability, give back to Congress the ability to reject the explosive regulations that we see coming out of the federal agencies. And the list goes on. We need to reform our broken tax code. Those are the kinds of things that I think we need to tackle early and aggressively because, frankly, that's what Americans want to see happen. And now the pressure's on because there's been gridlock for so long. Now, it, potentially, potentially it could be uh, Republican control. That's right. If the Republicans have the kind of control that looks like might happen tonight, then they're going to have to come forward with solutions. Now, still, we face a filibuster in the Senate, and so there will still be the kind of conflict that we've seen so much of. But the American people will see that, and that, I think, will actually help us to move past it and get to the kind of solutions I'm talking about. Senator, good luck with your race tonight. Thanks so much for taking the time. Appreciate it. Don Michelle, back to you.